In this video, we're going to talk about how to send an invoice using the free Zoho Invoice app. You can download this app from the App Store on your phone. In fact, I'm going to include the download links in the description below the video. Now let's get started. Things that you must include on each invoice. First of all, you're going to want to talk with the company that you're working with and make sure that you have all the data that they are requiring. If they're requesting that you send invoices to get paid, you want to make sure that you have all of the components that they're looking for. In most cases, we're looking for four things. We're looking for the customer name, the service address, the service date, and of course the total. These can be all line items and you can put multiple customers on one invoice. In fact, these invoices are best when grouped together in a weekly, bi-weekly, or even monthly basis depending on... This is a fake example of what one might look like on an invoice. We have one tier here for one customer and one address and as I mentioned before, we can have multiple line items on one invoice. We have the customer name here, we have the address, the service date, and then I threw in one extra one just to show you that you can provide more information on these invoices. This is the job number, it's a number referenced in Booking Koala, if that's the service software that you're using. And then over here, we have our total for this one job. You have multiple line items on an invoice. The invoice software, Zoho in this case, will go ahead and total all of the line item totals and give you a grand total to send. I included this down here so that you're aware that some companies are going to want you to send invoices to a certain email, accounting at companyname.com, billing at companyname.com. So make sure you clarify with them where the invoices need to be sent. You might be wondering, are there other options out there other than Zoho? And the answer is yes. That said, there are some things that you should keep in mind when looking for another invoicing software or invoicing app. Some of them are going to come with processing fees, meaning that when you send the invoice and the company pays it, you get hit with a processing fee. These can be as high as 3 to 4% in some cases, in my experience. So if you're invoicing for $1,000, you're looking at paying $30 to $40 in just a processing fee. Some of them are not going to come with PDF attachments. When you send the invoice via email, there will be no PDF attachment involved. That's a big problem for me. I have automations set up for when my contractors send me an invoice. The automation will actually grab that PDF invoice and add it to their Google Drive folder so that everything can stay nice and organized and we can call on those invoices and review them later if needed. So this may not be a big deal for you or for the cleaning company that you're working with, but it's something important to keep in mind nonetheless. Some of them are going to come with a monthly subscription. So maybe they don't have processing fees, but they do have a monthly subscription. It's not the end of the world, but hey, in my opinion, if you have a wonderful app like Zoho that's free and doesn't have the processing fees and allows you to send PDFs, may as well steer clear from those with a monthly subscription. And then lastly, mobile friendly. You want to make sure that you can easily use the app on your phone or on your desktop to send invoices on a regular basis. I know this was a short video, but it's a super, super simple concept. I just want to go over that really quick so you know how to build an invoice, what app to download, and when to send them. I hope you found this video valuable. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.